high quality, accessible and affordable childcare is an investment in essential social infrastructure. High quality childcare between the ages of zero to five helps to narrow the attainment gap between low income children and their more advantaged peers, which reduces inequalities and creates benefits that last throughout a child's time in school and way beyond. High quality, accessible childcare removes the barriers to employment, particularly for women who are still disproportionately responsible for unpaid care in the family. Finally, having a properly funded high quality universal childcare system also creates low carbon jobs in a sector that exists in every town and every city across the country, which also predominantly employs women. So what you're really doing as a state when you refuse to invest in childcare is you're really entrenching this unrealistic model of a family where a father will go out and earn the money and a mother will stay at home with the children. At the moment, childcare places are funded through a demand-led mechanism, which means that the children who will most benefit from early years opportunities won't be able to access them simply because their parents can't afford it. The final barrier I'll mention, even though there are plenty, is the low-paid workforce uh, and high staff turnover in the early years sector. Early years professionals are often paid well below the national living wage and much, much less than the labour market average. As a matter of urgency, the first measure that can be taken is the government has to revise the free hours funding so that it reflects the true cost of provision of these hours. The positive impact of childcare means that government investment in high quality care makes good fiscal sense. It's not just a fluffy feminist dream. In the long term, the Women's Budget Group advocates for a universal free childcare system with well-paid and highly qualified staff. Modelling of the employment and fiscal impacts of such a system shows that whilst the upfront investment is significant, almost all of it is recouped through higher tax revenue and reduced spending on means-tested benefits.